Hail Mary, full of grace, O Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Go and preach. Our Lady, to Gisela Cardia, on April 10th, 2021. My children, thank you for having listened to my call in your hearts and for having bent your knees in prayer. My children, your prayers are precious, but many do not understand that only with prayer can catastrophic events be mitigated, delayed, footnote one, or even averted. My children, go and preach, be true apostles, help your brothers and sisters with their inner transformation, footnote two, because only thus will they be able to have great peace in their hearts, in spite of what will soon happen. Otherwise, anxiety and fear will be their only states of mind. Whoever is in Christ will never have anything to fear. Beloved children, war is ever closer. Pray for Italy and for the world of the Church, because it will weep. It will weep so much for not having obeyed God's laws. But always remember that my Immaculate Heart will triumph, and you will witness it. Children, I, as a mother, suffer seeing many lost souls. I pray to God that he would have mercy upon these children of mine. Remember free will. Children, choose the good. Now everything that will happen has been revealed to you. You will not be able to say, I did not know. Now I bless you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Popes on Preaching the Gospel do not be afraid to go out on the streets and into public places like the first apostles who preach Christ and the good news of salvation in the squares of cities, towns, and villages. This is no time to be ashamed of the gospel. Romans chapter 1 verse 16 It is the time to preach it from the rooftops. Matthew chapter 10 verse 27 do not be afraid to break out of comfortable and routine modes of living in order to take up the challenge of making Christ known in the modern metropolis. It is you who must go out into the by-roads, Matthew chapter 22, verse 9, and invite everyone you meet to the banquet which God has prepared for his people. The gospel must not be kept hidden because of fear or indifference. It was never meant to be hidden away in private. It has to be put on a stand so that people may see its light and give praise to our Heavenly Father. St. John Paul II, Homily, Cherry Creek State Park, Homily, Denver, Colorado, August 15, 1993, Vatican.va we must rekindle in ourselves the impetus of the beginnings and allow ourselves to be filled with the ardour of the apostolic preaching which followed Pentecost. We must revive in ourselves the burning conviction of Paul who cried out, Woe to me if I do not preach the gospel. 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 16 this passion will not fail to stir in the church a new sense of mission, which cannot be left to a group of specialists, but must involve the responsibility of all the members of the people of God. St. John Paul II, Novo Millennio Inuente, Number 40 All of them have a right to receive the gospel. Christians have the duty to proclaim the gospel without excluding anyone. Neither respect and esteem for these religions, nor the complexity of the questions raised, is an invitation to the Church to withhold from these non-Christians the proclamation of Jesus Christ. Pope 
Saint Paul the Six, Evangelii Nunciandi number fifteen fifty three, Vatican dot V A. There are values which must never be abandoned for a greater value and even surpass the preservation of physical life. There is martyrdom. God is about more than mere physical survival. A life that would be brought by the denial of God, a life that is based on a final lie, is a non-life. Martyrdom is a basic category of Christian existence. Today's church is more than ever a church of the martyrs, and thus a witness to the living God. Emeritus Pope Benedict the Sixteenth, essay, the Church and the Scandal of Sexual Abuse. Catholic News Agency, April tenth, two thousand and nineteen. Footnotes and related readings can be found at the link in the video description. Join us in praying the light of Mary Rosary on Zoom video conferencing. Here is a schedule. The times listed are Central Time Zone, USA.